news. Barack Obama has canceled a planned one-to-one -one meeting with Russia's President Vladimir Putin due next month. Well, we have RTZ Gore Piskunov here uh, in the studio with the details. Gore, thank you for joining us. So how has the White House explained this announcement? Have we heard anything from them yet? Well, the speculation about this has been going on for quite some time now, pretty much ever since Russia granted uh, temporary asylum to Edward Snowden on the 1st of August. This is when we received these uh, rumors at first that the, uh, the U.S. president may not actually have a one-on-one -on -one meeting, a separate meeting with President Putin. So today's uh, announcement is not exactly a bolt out of the blue. Then. Now, now it's, it's confirmed now. Uh, so it was sort of expected, but I guess uh, everybody was still hoping that this was uh, just uh, political uh, announcements and it will still be held. Uh, Barack Obama is going to Russia for the G20 summit due to take place in St. Petersburg, but he's not going to actually visit Moscow and they're not going to have a separate meeting one-on-one uh, -on -one with President Putin. So that's important to clarify because uh, there were some sources saying that he's not actually uh, going to attend the summit, but he is then, right? Well, uh, we've heard before from uh, senior Russian diplomats who commented on uh, the whole situation around Edward Snowden, and they mm -hmm. said that this, uh, although it is a, a big problem now in the relations between Washington, they don't see it as a, a big enough problem for uh, the U.S. president not to even come to Russia at all. So uh, obviously he's still coming uh, to take part in the G20, but when it comes to the one-on-one -on -one meeting with the president, uh, <clears throat> apparently it's not going to happen. There was a very strong reaction from Washington when Moscow did grant uh, asylum to Edward Snowden. It's a very sensitive issue uh, for the U.S., so these are the consequences which, are, uh, which we're witnessing now. Okay, so we are, we're seeing a, a bit of cooling off in uh, relations between the U.S. and Russia. And, of course, we are um, closely monitoring the situation, as we say, and we'll be bringing you more information as we get it here on RT. Gore, for now, thank you so much for explaining the situation to us.